Hi everybody. So this look was requested. Um, I had actually worn this last year in favorite winter picks and grabs video, which was just sort of like a random video of things I grabbed for in the winter. And I ended up doing a lot of random videos last winter just to kind of try um, things out. A lot of you guys did like the looks I wore, I guess, in that vlog. I ended up very busy in December and didn't have time for a lot of tutorials, but I did get a lot of feedback on the makeup I wore in those. I felt a little bad at the time that I could not get around to doing this look for a very, very long time, um, simply due to the fact that when I did develop this look, it was actually a Project um, MAC Use It Up get rid of it hit pan look and a lot of the colors that Mac had created I did not have from a cruelty free line so I had to sort of search and sort of develop this look using colors from a cruelty free line it doesn't look precisely the same because that look was a lot more pink and plum and I think this one is a little bit more uh, rose gold this is the closest I can get to those exact Mac colors but I think I did a decent job redoing it when you're dealing with products or that have a certain grouping of ingredients and then you're dealing with natural cruelty free vegan you're going to end up with a different spectrum of products because the ingredients are not one and the same so sometimes the color variants will be more significant than your average dupe you see in a typical dupes video so um basically i'm duping that look <laughs> you know I'm, I'm basically duping um um expensive pink plum dressing tracks and those are all really good uh, hit sellers with MAC float on by which is under the eyes and uh, rest of the face is easy to do I typically love a fleshy peachy pink gorgeous dewy face that a lot of people would be able to utilize and um, so yeah I think that's about it um, these earrings are just these really cool sort of boho chic style from the icing I'm really into sort of just sort of this fun bohemian sort of yoga lunk style <laughs> i hope that you enjoy this and i'll see you guys next time okay so to get started on today's look i'm going to be taking the avalon organics vitamin c renewal revitalizing eye cream what i love about this stuff is that it just preps your eye for just a very sort of awake non-creasy canvas i'm going to be taking the gabrielle eye primer in the shade neutral just a very gorgeous sort of bone flesh tone color they also make this in beige so if you have darker skin that could work unless you just want something really bright i know a lot of people use white on this look i'm going to begin by taking makeup geeks cosmopolitan just a really beautiful rose gold and the real techniques base shadow brush this is sort of a vegan dupe of the 217 because you can use it as a blender and as a crease brush and to pack on colors it's just a really good multi-purposeful brush not exactly the exact shape of the 217. I'm now going to be taking prom night from makeup geek a gorgeous sort of shimmery taupey color with a purple undertone and we're going to start adding this to the outer corners of the eye I'm sort of using this in lieu of um, Mac tracks in the inner portion of the eye to really sort of bump up the plummy um, sort of deeper tones in there we're gonna take uh, Makeup Geek's Razzle Berry because so I had used plum dressing so you might want to take a plummier purple if you have it since I'm blending this right over prom night it will take on a plummy effect just kind of mixing our own concoction of colors since I don't have uh, exact replicas. On the bright side, Makeup Geek is way cheaper than MAC and cruelty free and paraben free. I'm now going to go ahead and take Drama Queen and I'm sorry that my allergies are really bad today. I don't know if you can hear it, so I apologize. I'm not trying to record when I'm sick or anything. I actually rarely get sick, but unfortunately there's so many breeds of flowers that are cross-pollinated in California. I just kind of never know. And orchids. I just found out I'm allergic to orchids, so do not get a perfume with orchid anywhere near my nose. The uh, Ole Henriksen Perfect Truth CC Cream. 
and the Dolling Tools Yellow Bamboo Brush 957. And we're just gonna go ahead <coughs> and pat this all over. I've been waking up ridiculously early lately since I started eating more raw, uh, healthier foods. I do eat some gluten-free foods now, uh, mainly just to show you guys what really cool vegan and gluten-free items are out there, as long as they're like sugar-free, because I think it kind of negates the purpose when the gluten-free item is super, super high in calories, just so it tastes better. So I'm always trying to find ones that would be good for people who have hypoglycemia as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the Inglot Soft Precision um, Eyeliner in the shade 43. Now, this is, this is literally replacing the um, MAC Eye Coal Crayon Coal in the shade Float On By, which is what I wore in the original video. They're identical almost. Let's see. So Float On By is this one, and 72 is this sort of bright, vibrant bluer one put float on by is a little greener so um, both pencils are actually really cute I like that in glock colors the, the wood my eyes are a little oddly sensitive today so I'm just gonna go ahead and close it and then slide the pencil over it the waterline I'm gonna be going ahead and taking sugar pills styling and taking it up on the dulling tools 777 tap off any extra because uh, you don't want it going down your face. And we're just going to feather that out on the lower lash now line. I'm taking the Young Blood um, Incredible Wear Gel Liner in the shade Eclipse. <clears throat> the and we're gonna go ahead and line the upper lash line. Now I'm going to be taking the Josie Moran, this is the um, Instant Natural Volume Argon Mascara. And I actually really am enjoying this stuff, I think the next one I want to try is Pacifica's. I want more Silk Naturals, I love Silk Naturals. And I have this Silk Naturals Cream Blush in the shade Panache. I think I used this in my last tutorial, the Peacock Inspired Eyes for Spring. And I forgot to mention what I was putting on my face, because I think that was like Maybe the second, yeah, the second time I think I, I wore it um, in a video, but I think it was the first time I applied it in a video. I forgot to say what it was. Um, so I recently shared that in my MAC Cult Favorites dupe video, which I unfortunately forgot to include any eyeshadows. Um, therefore, should have probably just been called lips and face products. So I'll do a part two for that later on when I get some more deepies. I already applied my Pumpkin Poppy Oil Absorbing Mineral Veil. Now for bronzer, I'm taking the Too Faced Endless Summer 16 Hour Long Wear Bronzer. And I start using a more compacted brush with this. Uh, sometimes the really splayed or stipple brushes were kind of erasing this color into the skin. Now taking the Pumpkin Poppy, um, this is the Inner Glow Powder in the shade Celestial. And I really like this because it's sort of like a really soft peachy pink. If you're somebody who does suffer from under eye or deep veining, this should be actually a really great sort of correcting under eye powder for you. It does have a slight sheen to it, so I, um, I don't, I can't see it as being an overall look color, but it is something you could blend into your bronzer or your blush. Lips need to stay super hydrated in the spring and summertime, so I'm taking Clean Cauldron's um, peppermint lip balm. I'm now taking Clean Cauldron Fire Dust Lip Tint. It's just sort of a really pretty sort of nude. It almost looks like butterscotch, so it should actually be a fairly flattering nude. I'm now taking the Aubrey Organics. This is the Natural Lips Sheer Tint in the shade Strawberry Frost. And it's just a really pretty sort of red looking gloss with like a silver sheen to it. And it slightly smells like grapefruit and coconut. I love that. And that's because there's the ingredients of coconut and grapefruit extract in it. So I hope that you enjoyed <laughs> my um, my tutorial. And uh, I do have a lot more natural cosmetics on than I was wearing before. I'm not going to be going natural. At least not now. I don't think I'll be ever going natural. Because I think... Um, I think a lot of people have a hard time even relating to somebody who's cruelty free, vegan, let alone natural. So I try to provide a little bit of product here and there. I just kind of use what I like. I'm trying to do. I am trying to use cleaner products um, 
overall and sort of really check the ingredients uh, oils and make sure that there's properties that all be good for me as well so yeah I hope that you enjoyed this video thank you so very much for watching um, and finally your request came in and I'm glad I waited because I really do like the way the outcome the mixing of the outcome looks so I'll see you guys next time bye